Is President Biden considering stepping down? Absolutely, absolutely not. And you heard, I, th I believe, directly from the campaign as well. Is there anything, Kareem, that would yeah. change his mind? Look, um, I cannot lay out something that would change the president's mind. He has been very clear. Uh, and he's going to continue to build on the unprecedented record. What does the president do outside the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m.? Well, you heard him speak to supporters yesterday outside of 4, 4 p.m. Uh, you've heard, you saw the president land in North Carolina in the middle of the night at 2 o'clock. What was he doing? He was greeting supporters, uh, hundreds of supporters that showed up to, to cheer him on after the debate. Uh, you saw him speaking at 9 o'clock at night in New York in front of supporters. So he's been pretty, pretty much out there after the hours of 4 p.m. and before, uh, before 10 a.m. for sure. And so that has been something he has consistently done uh, over the past couple of days for sure, for certain. Have an afternoon nap every day. Let me be very clear about this. This is a president that wakes up every morning and puts the American people first. That's what he does. By Sunman's question, sure. I mean, how, how is it that the president was still tired 12 days after returning from Europe, uh, had a cold, but then went to the Waffle House, and then the f following day staged such a huge comeback that he gave those North Carolina remarks? Like, help us understand. Have you had a cold before? Of course it has. Okay, so you probably, well, well, come on, come on, Jackie. Let's be very, let's, let's be. 12 days I, after I, you return, though. But and you also. jet lag yesterday. Hold on a second. There's a cold, there's a jet lag. You combine that. He continues to work on the, with, for the American people day in and day out, around the clock. Things happen. Things happen. And the cold thing is something that you all pointed out during his debate. We didn't even point that out. You all pointed out when you heard his, his voice being hoarse because he knew he had to push through. He knew he has to power through. That's what presidents do. If you care about this country and you don't care about yourself, you care about the American people, you care about delivering for this country, you care about how you're going to continue to work every day in and day out, you push through. But noted, Kelly. Um, but, but he's away. Um, that's inappropriate. As you heard from um, your colleague, the president of the WHA, that's inappropriate. Thank you, Kelly. The president telling people he's evaluating the, absolutely the false. That is absolutely false. I saw that reporting. Uh, we were not given enough time to get back to that reporting, just a couple of minutes. And we asked the president. The president responded directly when asked about this question uh, because we said that we would. And the president said, it is no, it is absolutely false. That's coming directly from him.